What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Crypto here. Welcome back to episode two of Showing Off Matrophy, my glorious world that's eight fucking gigabytes. <laughs> so in the last tour, we showed off... Oh, I'm still an F1 now. There's my cursor. So in the last tour, we showed off uh, this... We showed off Remerton, which is all this, and we showed off this area. And we showed off the little underground community gut. So now I think next this episode, we're gonna focus on most of the North Coast and then we'll see what we can do when we go over to the South Coast. Because like I said, this is going to be a long series. So here, let me adjust my microphone and we'll get set up. So like I said, Remerton got the uh, town here and the sewer. And we have that underground community from last episode that comes up to, uh, comes up to this abandoned house. As we come out of the abandoned house, we see this regular house that kind of has like the dirt track to imply that, ooh, there must be something over there. So we got this house here. And then as alluded to in the episode prior, this is a, um, this is just a big, big old farm. This is what, this is the, this is the farm that that outpost in Remerton kind of comes from. It comes from this area. And we got just a normal house normal house in here and as we go over here you see Matrophy Massacre. So what Matrophy Massacre is is whilst we may not chop off heads when you do a bad thing you do get sent to sent to fights to the death. There are <laughs> there are multiple arenas that do this. So this is Matrophy Massa Massacre. This is the part of the north coast that does it. So we have here these are the little posts here. This is like this is what like the normal seating. So like if you're a regular spectator, you come up here and walk up here. This is the arena. It's kind of a smaller arena. You got like a little obstacles you got going on over here. To get to the suite and right in front of the action, you come on down over to these doors, which are up over here. Put up this door, and boom, you're right here in the center of action. So. And then to open up, as you as uh, you probably saw up there, to get in, you press this button and you're stuck in here. When you're inside there, unless you unless you have magically have a pickaxe or a or something like that, you are stuck in there until someone opens the door for you to the fight to your death. And that's what these little switches are. These open the iron doors, and we got sort of sort of interior the uh, arches in here to have a little bit of styling. This is to go to the Matrophy Northern Empire, which is a whole different state. Uh, it crosses this border, but uh, we'll get to that in a future episode. Right now we're gonna focus on the North Coast. Uh, alongside Matrophy Massacre, this is sort of the Matrophy Massacre pub and eatery. I kinda, what I had in mind for this was kinda like a Chili's. Um, so like a Chili's, like a sports bar <laughs> in, in the sense. Um, kinda there on the side of the river. And as, as you can see, I, I kind of played with boardwalk, so probably about 70 to 80 percent of all roads are spruce wood or spruce planks, uh, but some of them do have a bit of variation. So Matrophy Massacre has the oak wood plank. Uh, this is a stable, by the way. But we go into the uh, go into the regular sort of countryside. We go back to spruce plank into a very tiny little town. Nothing too nothing too crazy. Go over the uh, ledge here. This way is another route to the to the uh, northern northern empire to Bethlehem, which is just a t just a nice little town. It obviously has birch kind of influences and whatnot. Just a teensy little town here in the north coast. Storage is the key, as we all know. I uh, have a nice little farm, nice little walkway, and we go over to the next area of this of the north coast. You'll see over there a little sneak peek of what's coming. Um, go down this road, and this is the this is the like official road going from the north coast to the south coast. Kind of has this grand thing going on. Now, forgive me, these names I pulled out of my ass, but this is called Chevalonth. Uh, <laughs> these are just kind of names I came up with. This is another little town. Got a little fishing stand here with a little here. Who are you fishing right into the water? This is the house of the guy who does it. Nice little house here. We got a nice little sort of trading station here. Nice little like store if you want to think about it. Uh, and then we go over here, little houses, and then we come back over here through this road, and this is what leads up to the south coast, which we will go into sh here shortly. Through this road, and this connects back to the farm that's over there. And remember, I said the sewer connects through all of Matrophy State. Yeah, connects to all of it. Oh, oops. 
And we go over to this road. Oh, all the way over here, kind of goes. This is another route here to the uh, to the manor, as shown in the other episodes. This is another route road that goes up there. There are a lot of roads. Uh, fly into here. Now there is a little secret here. So, so you can see we got a little. Ooh, what are these little tracks into the ground? Hmm. Oh, look, another abandoned building with floors. I wonder what's in here. So. What I have going on here, so this is the kind of inspiration I had for this little area, is if you've ever played the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion and played through the Dark Brotherhood playthrough, you'll know that there's a sanctuary underneath Shaden Hall that has like a, it's like a, it looks like a four, but it's kind of like the home base for the, for the Dark Brotherhood, the murderers of the society. I don't know if this is going to be the murderers of Matrophy, but that's kind of the, the theme I have for this place. It's like an underground like station or HQ for some secret faction or whatever has these kind of little grand posts with some redstone torches. Um, yeah, so we'll close that up, head back on to the little secret trail. It's unlitted, of course. Every road is lit with torches here um, in Matrophy. This is another bridge to go to the south coast, which we will go into shortly. And this road leads you back to the library. And we will go over here and make a right to the next town, which is called Valenthrope, which is another just kind of small little beach town. This is a road just a, sim a simple little house. I'll, I might show you here in a sec. But this is like a beachside town. Um, this I, The kind of idea I had for this, um, oh, I forget which town, I think it's Canelov City in, um, in Pokemon Diamond. Kind of this sort of calming, soothing sort of deal. So we just have three little buildings, and then inside here we have a little uh, mine that I kind of like made it sort of official uh, with this kind of architecture we got going on over here. Um, so yeah, that's that's about this area, and that's about it from the Matrophy North Coast. So we're gonna go ahead and cross one of these two bridges to go into the South Coast. I want to go for the more official one. This one's kind of mediocre. It just kind of goes into this area. I want to go to the more official one. So that's what we're gonna do. This. We'll see. All right, so here we are. We are going into the Matrophy South Coast. So this is like the official bridge that you would walk through. Um, it's kind of like crossing state borders almost. So yeah, you are now entered in the Matrophy South Coast. And this area is kind of like. Um, so the idea I had with with the North Coast in general was kind of like um, like. It's all because, as you can see, there's more densely packed like buildings and whatnot. So it kind of reminds me of like the East Coast of the United States. Well, this this is more like the West Coast, where like things are kind of spread out more, and there isn't a whole lot going on here. But the things that are going on are pretty epic. So we'll start with going over here, like a like I said in Remerton, uh, the town Pentalon, which is over there, has its own manor. So this is the Pentalon Manor. It's kind of more like. I envision this this territory, the Matrophy South Coast, being a little bit more brutal, kind of like more brutish. So like, you know, has dangerous conditions and whatnot. So you obviously want to protect yourself. So I have this giant wooden wall going around it. And this uh, nice little manor, all dark oak. Pantheon is pretty much all uh, dark oak planks and whatnot. Got a nice little view going on right here. Uh, but nothing too crazy with this Pantheon Manor. And We'll go down here to the, this is the Pantheon Pasture. So there isn't a whole lot of farming going on in Pantheon because it's a much more mountainy space. So what they got going on is they got a lot of like livestock. So they got a bunch of cows, a bunch of, a bunch of pigs, a bunch of chickens and a bunch of sheep going on. And this is kind of the, this is the house that kind of runs the whole deal. Like if you run it, you live here. And this is like the stables you got going on. So. Then we'll pop into over here, so this is going to be a fun one. So I had the idea of like, since this is sort of like the 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 more like sort of darker area. Oh shit, I forgot one I forgot one thing in the north coast, but we'll get to that. So this is kind of the mine. So I, what I wanted was like an, a, a criminal's secret entryway to get to the north coast. So we have here, it's like your regular mine. Um, but like this is dimly lit. This is like the mine that like you're supposed to go to and this is like the mine that like is closed off and doesn't have a whole lot going on with it. It's gonna be a little dark for you guys, but bear with me. We go down here 
into this mine shaft where it's kind of like it's carved out it's I, I blew this up with TNT everything here so this is a TNT blown out mine and as we fly through all the way to the end I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to me getting towards the end here I go just keep on going it's quite long you will see that it will dump me as I follow my torch path no not that way it's this way so I follow my torch path you saw that I was in that mine that mine shaft in the south coast but where does it dump me oh but look at this I think this is very familiar oh look it's the storage vessel right there in Remerton so you got a little like extra secret passageway uh, out into out into Remerton so I'll go ahead and cut back to where I was so editor cut this out oh actually no editor don't cut this out uh, because I forgot to mention both coasts the North Coast and the South Coast have prisons so I I envision so I have a big difference between the two which you'll see in a second the North Coast prison is a lot smaller and doesn't have a lot going on because I don't envision a lot of crime going on in the North Coast I envision it being a more peaceful place so there's less cells there is solitary confinement so if we go over here this is kind of the office of where things are going on go over to the office or sorry the solitary confinement we get down here this is like maximum security you fuckers are bad you're staying in here well as you can see from in here hmm what is this <gasps> an iron trap door Ooh. Um, it's pretty dark on my screen so I imagine it's pretty dark for you guys too um, I'll see if I can turn up the brightness but anyways we go down here and what do you see oh red stone torch red storm <laughs> red stone torches now you see we have two paths here um, this one's a cave this one's uh this is actually leads up to where we just were inside that uh inside the storage room out here leads to as we yeet on over here like i said there's a lot going on in this world so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a long series we go right click here and boom secret entrance back out to the harbor of magic me or remerton so <laughs> Yeah, lots lots going on. So, all right, I'm going to cut over back to where we were before. All right, so we are back at the entrance of the mine. So we're going to go off over here to the right um, to the South Coast Prison, which, as you can see, is a lot more sort of intense. It's more, like I said, this is the more, like, dangerous territory. So the more rugged criminals come into this place. And so these are obviously... There's no solitary confinement. There's just two floors, but uh, the cells are a lot, like more like intense and whatnot um but yeah so that's the prison we got going on here on the south coast uh, a couple other little things because like i said things are a lot more spread out here in the south coast we'll go ahead and take this road as you can see there's a little bridge we have here a little uh little sort of like inn we got going on the spruce sprawl pub you want to say like i said before got freaking sewer system everywhere <laughs> so then we go on over here and this is mainly just a walkway but as you can see I kind of made like a bridge for just the simple walkway excuse me that's a house on the top of the highest mountain over here just because it's a house on the top of the highest mountain so we're gonna come on over here and as you can see this is this is to go outside of the state of Matrophy and so we will get to that here in a sec if we can um, I these these episodes will be no longer than 20 minutes um, so we'll see where we get we'll, we'll see where we get to so we're gonna go down here and now we are at sort of the the port of Pantheon so Pantheon is the big city of the south coast and because the waters are shallow over there it's a swamp area there's a there's a port over here for like the big ships uh, to come into so we have here this is just a this is just an inn simple inn we got going on uh all the beds and whatnot then we have a pub uh going on over here as we go on to the dark oak road like i said so this is only one of the very few areas that doesn't have spruce wood roads i have dark oak here then we have the south pub which is just a simple little pub we got a little bar here this is the kitchen where you make stuff and this is where you sit to eat um, I forgot to mention too, hold on, storage is the key, bros, storage is the key. Uh, I forgot to mention, since these are like the ports of entry for the whole the whole of the country of Matrophy itself, there are customs checkpoints. Um, 
There is one over in the Remerton Harbor uh, as well. I forgot to mention that, but here is the Pantalon one, since this is a port where ships come in. This is the customs. And I will I will mention too as we go on to this tour of Matrophy, where there are landlocked borders of uh, Matrophy, there are customs there too to make sure you know you're a, you're not a wanted criminal or whatnot. By the way, right here is goes into that mine that we were just in. This is just another entry going straight down there. So now we are going into Pentalon. This is okay. This is what I, I made a mistake. Remerton's the New York City. This is the Washington D.C of Matrophy. We got a lot going on here. So we have we have a port here, but this is for smaller ships since it's much shallower water. Um, and we have a map here. I don't use this map because I don't come to Pantheon as often. I go to more Remerton more. This is just another map. This is the this is all that I have seen. This is the, this is the most zoomed out map you can get. This is the reason why this world is eight gigabytes because of all this. This is the most zoomed in map. So we did our tour, so obviously that's the farm, that's Remerton, that's Mashiru Massacre, that's uh, Bethlehem, Shevelanth, uh, that over there is Valenthrope, doctor's office, and we came in over here, this is the little mine we were just at, this is the pasture, this is the manor we were just at, and that right there, yep, that one, that one's the prison, and that's the sort of walkway we were just going on to, going on over here, little port, and now we are right here, so this arrow is us right here in Pentalon. Lot to cover. So we'll start off, the very first thing I actually built here was this this uh, general store here. I didn't know how, else, how where to start, so I just started with a simple general store with, what do you know gamers, storage is the fucking key. Just gotta make that clear, storage is the key. Um, yeah, just a simple general store. And then we got right next to it, we have a series of houses. This is kind of like just a little like park, like sitting area with the sewer connecting everything. Um, and we got a few houses. So we got one here, two here, one here, um, and those are the houses that I have in here. This is an inn, there, there are two inns here. This one's an inn and a pub. So we have a total of six bedrooms. So we got four on the top, two on the bottom, and this is the entryway. And then this is like the this is the eatery part. So this is like where you want to get a dinner. If you want to get a drink with your bros, you come up here you come to the rooftop pub rooftop sort of drink areas where you get your mead and whatnot and I got like the little shelves going on and uh, yeah so we'll go down here back down to the surface level and to our right we have the other two <laughs> we have two interestingly placed three rather three interesting pla interestingly placed items to our right is a simple park where you go into you know go in and just chill from the day just sit back looking at the tadpoles and right next door is the south coast slammer where you come down every thursday to see everyone get their heads chopped off come in this come into a thursday near you <laughs> coming to a thursday near you <laughs> and then we have a church right here the only church in well i, I think there's more i don't remember but in in matrophy state this is the only church what what religion is here? I don't fucking know. I just wanted to make a church with the Bob Marley uh, stained glass windows. And here's another funny story if you go down. What's kind of the theme here, guys? Let me just tell you, storage is the key. And as we go over here, this is actually a little secret area that goes up to that mine. So we'll go kind of up here. A lot of little secret entryways I like to make here and just to kind of connect everything. Just like a hidden network. So as you can see, it's very dark. So that you can make it see like, oh, it's it's an abandoned place. No one goes here with all the cobweb. You definitely aren't supposed to go here. And this is obviously that mine shaft that we've seen before. So, all right. So that's the church. So we'll come on out. I'm gonna let's go into more detail on the South Coast Slammer, which is the other arena in Matrophy State. We have your ticket. We have two ticket booths. We have this ticket booth, and we come over here, and we have this ticket. Sorry. Yeah, this ticket booth. We have two entrances uh, that there's three levels to for the for the place. The first level, the very bottom level, is where the gladiators go. They stand right here, you open the door and go in. The second level is where like your your sweet your sweet owners like. Like where like if you get a sweet ticket to like a baseball game and you get that like special like um, you get that special room with like a freaking refrigerator and whatnot. That's kinda what I have going on here. This is like the good tickets to get. 
Then we have the main general public, which is access, not by going down on these little stairs over here, but by going up. So by going up to the area, and this is where you come in, and here you are at the top level of the uh, South Coast Slammer. Um, what do you know, gamers? Let's just uh, let's just reiterate: storage is the fucking key here, guys. I, I don't know what is possessed me to do this, but there is so much goddamn fucking storage <laughs> in this world. But that's just me. That's just how I roll. Um, so yeah, so that's the that is the houses stuff right here with the with the church, and then this here is a, this is just a simple stables uh, with give all of your horses and whatnot. Um, nice little amphitheater we got going on. Like I said, the solitude thing where it's like where it's like the the raised platform. Um, this right here is another court, uh, another civil court. Uh, it doesn't have an area where the jury goes in to, to make their thing, but this is where the jury is, prosecutor, defendant, and then this is where the, the judge, and then obviously the, uh, where they try the people. Then we got on, going over here. And next door, we have an actual storage room. This one doesn't go all the way down to the Y level, to Y level zero. This just goes down one. Because I didn't have the patience to do it again. Because <laughs> this one's a lot bigger. But it is a three-story storage place um, where you can store your stuff. Um, we'll go onto this little track over here to this kind of recreational area. Because it has a lot of nice views. It goes out to the uh, big mushy swamp over there. And this little area right here. And then we come on over here. This is the only farm that's in the south coast. It's this guy right here. And it mainly serves the town of Pantheon because that's the only really big settlement here. We got the main guy who runs the farm who actually has a nice little balcony out to the uh, out to the ocean right here. So we got that. Then we got on over here. Uh, I believe these are just a couple. Not just one. I only have one other house. Gotcha. Then we have a bigger inn that I made. This is one of the newer expansions to this uh, area. Uh, this is where you come in. This is where and you got three beds. Three beds per bedroom. Nice little. This is supposed to be the stables, but it seems that a chicken, a cow, and two sheep have seemed to reside here, but that's okay. Uh, we'll fly on back over here to this central park. This is like the central park of Pantalon. Got a lot going on here, just the trees, and a couple other ponds and whatnot. <coughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's what we got going on here. And right next to this house, we have the Pantalon swap meet. Swap meet with a lot more stands, a lot more condensed. And then over here we have a, just a nice little dainty little bar called the Swithering Swamp. You come in, you get your drink, and you come stand over at these bar stables over here. Then, just as I alluded to in the Remerton episode, there's a doctor's office. That looks pretty much just like it. Just like all the other ones. Come in, waiting area, got your rooms, and then your operating tables over there. Then we come on over here to the main theater of the of uh, Pantalon, which is called the Pantalon Pantages. So their storage is the key is right here. You walk in, go over here, and this actually comes up to backstage. So this is the backstage of here. This is stage left, and this is stage right. You open the door to this big old amphitheater. We got a lot of stands in the back because this is a big town, big theater, big things going on. And right behind it is basically the capital of the all the entirety of the country of Matrophy. This is the Matrophy Hall of Congress. This is where all the different senators, if you want to call it, come in here and discuss sort of the policies that go on with the country of Matrophy. And this is where, and up there is kind of where if you're a civilian and want to watch this happening, you come in up these stairs into there and just watch things happening. So, that is Pentalon, and that is pretty much all of the South Coast. And guys, this is episode two, and we still have barely even scratched the goddamn surface. We have a lot, a lot to talk about. So this is going to be a multi-part series on this world I've been working on for so long, and it's still not done. I, I don't know if it'll ever be done, <laughs> because I love it so much. Um, but yeah, this has been episode two of the Matrophy Tour. Uh, if you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. If your feelings go beyond that, leave a comment down below. But as always, this has been your boy Crypno, signing off. Peace. Peace.